Welcome to Ask Dr. Jason. I'm Dr. Jason. We're out here in beautiful sunny LA. It is Friday and we're here to answer your questions on health, healing, and alignment. So let's rock and roll. What do we have today, Miss Bridge? Let's see our questions. All right, first question is, what is your opinion on Atlas Orthogonal? All uh, right, Atlas Orthogonal is a chiropractic technique where the patient lays on their side and the atlas, perhaps the most important bone in the spine, is adjusted with a machine that goes that, like that really fast. Highly specific, highly um, intentional, it's focused on one area. I think it's a phenomenal technique. I, myself, prefer full spine adjusting. However, some people, they love that. Many chiros prefer to just adjust one segment in the spine because the control center for our brain is higher up and we can absolutely influence other areas of the spine by adjusting the top. Now, personally, I know that we can influence other areas of the spine. However, if the L5 is subluxated and out of alignment, I want my L5 moving and back into alignment. So that's my opinion. Uh, but I would definitely give it a shot if you like it. Thank you for the question. Next one, please. Next question is, how tall are you? How tall am I? I'm somewhere between 6'3 and 6'4. I think I'm about 6'3 and 3 quarters, maybe 6'4 on a good day. If I sit up nice and straight and tall there, uh, somewhere around there. Thank you for asking. Next question. Next question. I feel like one of my shoulders is more forward than the other. Is there a reason why? Ooh, that's a good question. One of your shoulders might be more forward. Yes, there are many reasons why. Number one, your spine could be out of alignment, you could have a curvature, you could have your shoulder itself rotated forward because of poor musculature firing in the back or poor muscle tone in the back. You could have an injury, you could have a rib issue. There's a million reasons that could happen. I would definitely recommend seeing a chiropractor, but more importantly, congrats for the awareness of your body because health is wealth. Paying attention to your body is of immense importance. Congratulations. Next question. All right, next. Hey, Doc, I've had an ankle pain for mm. about two to three months now. Oh, ouchie. The bigger problem is we still don't know what it is. What mm -hmm. can I do? Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so ankle pain. Um, number one, you've identified that you have pain there, a problem there. That's good. Number two, I definitely would seek care. I know that um, a lot of people, they're asking us questions and saying, you know, he answers, go to Cairo, go to Cairo. But I, I answer everyone individually, and the reason I don't just post a video that says just go to the chiropractor is because I'm talking to you, and to you, and to you, and to everybody individually. Um, hey, Sav, you know. Okay. So, um, we're speaking to everyone individually. So, everybody's journey is different. Now, specifically, if you have an ankle injury, it can come from the nerves that come out of the lower back that cause poor muscle firing into the muscles of the ankle or it can be an ankle problem. But either way, if you have an ankle problem and muscles aren't firing and you're limping or walking around, it's gonna transfer kinetically up into your lower back and could throw you out of alignment. Seek chiro care and there's a lot of other adjunctive things you can do. Good question. Next one, please. Okay, how do you develop that rock star mindset? Oof. Mine is worse than you can imagine. It really gets in the way of my productivity. Mm. Did you just listen to a bunch of Tony Robbins or something like that? <laughs> listen to a bunch of Tony Robbins or like that. Uh, first of all, thank you. I have spent many, many hours. Um, I have, I have uh, a collection of journals from years past, from uh, the time I was in um, college, high school, I think college. So I have many, many journals and thoughts and uh, revelations and uh, concepts written down. I have been to many, many, many seminars. I have uh, read many, many books. If you have not noticed the library behind me, that is just some of them. And um, I am a student. And I stay focused in gratitude for life, for health, for my family, for everything that's been given to me, for everything that I have rather than what I don't have. My legs work, my eyes work, my arms work, my brain works, my heart's beating. I'm free to move around. This is immensely enough to be grateful for. Gratitude is a verb, it's an action, it's something you express, it's not just something you feel. So that's where I start. Thank you. Great question. Next question. 
Next question, Dr. Jason. Do mm. you ever have pain in your wrists from doing so many adjustments? Mm -mm. I know you said you get adjusted as well, mm -hmm. but I'm curious. Great question. I do not. I've always stayed relatively fit. When I started out as a massage therapist, my wrists hurt. I learned how to do stretching and exercises, push-ups, using your body. Your body's designed to be used. If you don't use it appropriately, you lose it. So I do get chiropractic care regularly. I train my body, health, fitness, calisthenics, body weight exercises, push-ups, pull-ups. Rarely do I use weights, although I did for years. Um, I use my body. You take care of your body, you use your body appropriately, it doesn't hurt. Excellent question, next one please. All right, could or should just anyone visit a chiropractor or just people who are having pain issues? That's a great question. The answer is, um, it's a really a question. Could or should anyone visit a dentist or just somebody having dental problems or teeth pain? Well, of course you should visit the dentist. Of course you should, you should take care of yourself. Could or should you um, take you know, care of your spouse or should you just wait until they want to divorce you? Um, yeah, you, you want to attend to that person. So taking care of your spine is what chiropractic is all about. And thank you for being part of the Health is Wealth movement. We're out here trying to teach people that it's actually cool to take care of your spine. It's cool to be healthy because when you take care of your body and your spine, you've got more to give because you are more. You can't pour from an empty cup. Go to the chiropractor. Get checked when you're healthy. It's cheaper. It's easier. It takes less time to maintain and keep well than it does to work back and fight your way back when you're not. Thank you, next question. Last question is, how hard is it not to damage the neck when adjusting? Mm -hmm. I heard you can get a stroke if the adjustment tears something in the neck. Mm -hmm. My neck needs adjusting, but I'm way too scared. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is very hard, great question. Very, very hard to harm somebody with a chiropractic adjustment. Um, you would have to almost intentionally do it, which nobody would ever do in the right mind. Um, it is an art, it is a science, we measure. I'm very specific, take x-rays, analyze the spine, measure, palpate, check, and then adjust specifically rather than just, you know, non-specifically. Um, it's important to go to a highly skilled chiropractor. It's important to go to somebody that cares, that is present and focused with you. It's really, I've never hurt anybody, 14 years, taking care of patients. Our malpractice insurance is a couple hundred bucks a month versus the typical average medical, dental, practitioner, plastic surgeon can be thousands of dollars per month. So we really don't hurt people. You're actually more likely to get hurt taking an Advil and having kidney problems or driving your car down the street and getting in a car wreck statistically. So it's really not dangerous. There are some contraindications. Sometimes we don't adjust people for certain reasons, but that's up to the individual doctor to decide. And that's why we do a thorough examination, consultation, and history so we make sure that if there's anything going on that doesn't need an adjustment or that would be contraindicated, we don't do it. Great question, but it's really, really unlikely and it's very difficult to hurt somebody. Uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm gonna just look really quickly if we have any questions here. Um, hey, hey, hey. Let's see here, A hey, Belorian, hello. Thank you for tuning in, let's see. Come on, man, let's see who's on here. Can spinal adjustments help improve digestion, says Miss Sarah. Yes, if the digestive problem is because of poor nerve flow to the nerves that go to the intestines, or if your body is stuck on the gas pedal, what we call the sympathetic, the fight or flight, and you cannot digest, it can absolutely help. I've helped so many people with digestive issues. Chrissy says, when I went to a chiropractor a few years ago, they said my back was not fully straight, so I started swimming and going to the gym, and I started getting aligned and feeling better. What? Um, I don't, the, okay. <laughs> that was the question. There was no more. Dr. Jason, 26-year-old male with shoulder pain. My dad is 15 and has had both rotator cuffs replaced. Okay, they typically don't replace rotator cuffs. They typically repair the muscle. How can I prevent that and prepare my shoulder each day? Beautiful. That's a phenomenal question. Shoulder problems occur typically because of poor mobility in the upper back and neck. And your shoulder has to work too hard and it's strained and it's having poor muscle firing because the nerves aren't flowing properly. Phenomenal question. Perhaps one of the best questions we've gotten. Uh, preventative mindset. What you need to do is make sure the spine is proper aligned and train the intrinsic shoulder muscles. There's different types of exercises you can do. Stay tuned, we'll do an active health tip video on that. Phenomenal question, great question. Keep the spine healthy. 
Um, we have a video, by the way, that's distal mobility is created by proximal stability and flexibility. So the more flexible and stable you are in the spine, the more mobility you have outwardly. Chrissy said, what would you suggest so I can stand up more straight and feel better? I would definitely get a line. I would work on your core. Your abs and your lower back keep you up straight. Okay, let's see. Maybe we have time for one more question. Weird question, every time I run, my right ear pops, one of my feet hit the pavement, could it be something nerve related? It could absolutely be a subluxation. Um, would love to tell a quick story about that. Justin, what's up, my man? Um, I'm not able to do that right now because of time, so thank you, but I would definitely go get checked. Matthew says, I love when people say, I have a question. Um, thank you for saying I look like a model. Okay, hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Active Health, uh, we're here, LA. YouTube.com slash Dr. Jason. Punch that subscribe button, get it, and stay tuned because we're releasing a lot of content for you guys. Love you guys. Thank you for tuning in.